show you how I put these right here on. Now, I've already done this one. What I do, because I had to retake the video. So, what I do is I take my scallop ruler and I put it in between my two blocks. And I find the one that will go middle to middle. If I had smaller blocks and they were together, I'd probably have to pick another one. But this is the way I way I do it. And then I find it. And I put it in the middle of both ones. Level it up. And I draw it. And I draw it all the way to the end. And I do the next one the same way. From point to point. And I leave myself a little bit of room up here at the top. So now, I made it down here to the end. So what I do down here to, at the end <clears throat> is I find the one that will go from here <clears throat> down to here. And <clears throat> to where my line, where my, my line is right here, where my sewing is together. <clears throat> and then I put one. Let's see, I think it was that one. Doo, 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 doo. Yep, it was that one. And then I draw it on here. Okay, <clears throat> now that I get it on there, that to do the other side, I will find the middle to it. And I will bring it up. So, I'm going to get busy. And I'm going to turn this quilt around. And then I'll show you from the bigger side how to come this away with it. Down here is my middle one. And I'm going to start all over again. And get this lined up the way that I want it. Between the two. And... Level it out here and draw it in. Okay, then I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to do it again between the two. Draw it in. I'm going to do it again between the two and when I get to the end here I'm going to see which one I fit from here to there and if I have to take it and put it in the middle then I'll take a line and I'll draw it like this across then I got my line then I'll find the one that I need that will come up with that one. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> and then I will draw it in. Oop. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. So I will just draw like a half of one right here. Because it will make it round right here. Can you see right here? Where, yeah. See here how it makes it around. So that works out fine to me. So now I'm going to get ready to free motion this thing as soon as I get done. Getting all this right here scallop things on. Okay, I got my sewing machine set up again for free motion quilting because that's what I'm trying to learn. So we're going to free motion it, right or wrong or indifferent, we're going to go for it. And we're just going to take our time doing it. Who knows, we might learn something as we go. 
right up here to the very tip top and off. And then we're just going to keep on going on down. We're not going to go fast at it because we're still wanting to learn it. There's a boo-boo. But I do have this right here down a little bit better than all the other stuff. Here's where I began and end. When I went around this one, I went a little bit further and tied it in there. But so far, as you can tell, it does look pretty good from a distance. So if you really want to look at it, look at it from a distance. Now, I wish I'd have thought about this foot before I put these on, but oh well, it'll be okay. But I'm going to use this foot now, and I'm going to go and put a seam all the way around the outside of this. I wish I'd have done it before, but that's okay. Live and learn. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to put it on right in here, on the outside of it. And then after I get this started and, and done, and this started and done, then we'll see from there. Okay, let's see if I can show you how to put this pressure foot on. This little gadget right here needs to go on this thing. And then you slide it over your, over your screw there. So we'll go back and do that. And then, 
we'll tighten it down. I'll get over here where I get to it. See this little screw right here? This is where you tighten it down at. Now then we have to take our plate off. And we're going to go around it. And then we have to set this back to where it will work. To where it will feed the feed dog, to feed the blanket through. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to put our everything down. Oh, I need to change that. Need to change that to a one. Bring it back up. There we go. Now we'll try it again. That's better. Oh, I didn't like that. It could have broke my needle because it bent right here. But as we can tell, my needle is still straight. So I'm happy with that. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, there you go. You can see my needle. Okay. So I'm going to finish getting everything set up and then I'll be back. Got that plastic thing off to make sure that this right here will work just fine because with the plastic thing on there, it won't work. I put it up so I can use it again. So now we're going to get busy and we're going to work on checking this uh, foot out. So let me get that shoved in there and I'll be back. Alrighty, here we go with this. I've never tried this before. But we... Oh man, this is... This is awesome! This is so awesome. Let's see if we can put a little bit more speed to it. Oh, yeah. I think we hit the mother load. I think we hit the mother load on this one. Oh, yes. This is so much easier. If you don't have one, you need to go get you one. If you quilt, oh, I am so happy with this. Alrighty. I will see you when I get to the very end. Alrighty, I'm down here at the end now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the end. And we'll cut this. Then I'm going to stop. Can you see how far my needle is away from that so now we're going to put lift our pressure foot and then we're going to turn our blanket so if i can do it one-handed there we go now when we put her back down and we start her you can see how what kind of uh length that you need to get it just right on the other one your foot up and I'm gonna turn my blanket. My quilt. I don't like it being called a blanket. It's a quilt. Press your foot down and we start all over again. And it just pretty well much just feeds itself. As you can see, I have help there at the end of the table right there. Well, now we're going to get busy, and we are going to cut all this right here, fiber fill, 
and everything down. I have it here. I sewed this one, and I sewed down here. Now, before I sew this one on, I want to get this ready to go to uh, be able to sew. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my ruler on my material here, and then I'm going to whack it right down the side uh, with it. I moved it. So, I'm going to do that all the way around. So that we will have we can fix it up and I'll bring off my back there. And uh, I think my scissors would be better. So here we go with that, and then when we get back, I'll show you how I take and fold it in and all that other good stuff. Okay, I'm getting the sides ready to sew. And all I'm doing is turning this one down, this one down. And I'm getting them even. Then I'm taking a pin and I'm double pinning it right here. See how I'm double pinning it? <clears throat> and then I'm going back down here and I'm double pinning it. And I was told that it's better to do it this way. You won't get stuck as bad. So now here I am at the corner. <clears throat> so what I do at the corner, <clears throat> I fold this one down. Then I fold this one down. I come up here and I fold this one. Like that. And then I put a pin in it right here. Okay, and then I turn this one like this on up a little bit. <clears throat> the corners are a little bit harder to do, as you can tell. <clears throat> but they can be done. Now, to keep this one right here like this, the way we want it, I just add an extra one in there. It ain't going to hurt a thing. And then, <clears throat> I just keep on going. Fold it down about a half an inch. Flyer it out just as good as I can. Flatten it out right here. Put a pin in it. up here and do it again make sure we get it in there right and I put them close together so that it don't come undone and if a pin comes out it won't be that bad to fix it so I am going to go ahead and finish this up as far as I can with my stick pins and then I'll bring my sewing machine back in here and we'll get busy and we'll sew this right here down all this right here around Okay, so I'll see you then. I'm going to sew down this line like I did this one right here. I have it already pinned. I still have that same pressure foot on. Yep, there you go. You can see it. I have it set on 12. And I don't know. There you go. You can see part of it. So here we go with that. Show you how it's all working out. We'll take that pin out. We're going to stick it right up underneath there. Needle down, pressure foot down, and we are ready to rock and roll with it. Going to 
Alrighty. So there you can see what it looks like. I think it looks good. I'm really, even though it doesn't look all that great, I'm really happy with it. I love the way that it feels and the, uh, it just all about it. Even though it did not turn out right on these. So, I will show you whenever I, I guess I don't have to, but I'm going to take a line down this right here. So, when you, when I get done with the quilt, then you'll see it.